So I'm recording this video about a week before the release date of Frozen 2. So obviously I haven't seen it yet when I'm making this video, but I'm going to release this video at, well, at Frozen 2 day. So yeah, can't wait to see it. But I just want to make this video. I don't have to make this video, honestly, but I just want to make it to say something sincere about the Frozen franchise in general. And I feel like I should make it because it really has impacted my life more than many people think it has. So actually, I should be in my Disney form for this. There. Much better. Okay. So yeah, again, I just want to make this video to say something sincere about the Frozen franchise. And this is actually a message to everyone at Disney who thought of and created the Frozen world and all that stuff. So to all the Disney members, to all the people in Disney who made and created the world of Frozen, I just want to say a sincere thank you. Thank you so much for creating such a wonderful and magical world. It's because of Frozen, my life has actually changed. No joke. It has created a spark that made my life better, honestly. It was a very small spark, but a very important one at that. Um, so let's just say that I was a very, very introverted person, more than what I claim to be right now. So, And considering we live in a world where you have to be an extrovert to make it somewhere in life, um, it's not a good thing for me because I really try to avoid any sociality. Any act of doing something social wears me out. And it still does today, but not as much as before. But before, I was really, really avoiding social activity. Until I saw Frozen. Now, honestly, I came into the cinema along with family members to watch Frozen, not thinking much of it. I didn't even think it was a Disney princess movie. The only trailer I saw of Frozen was the one with Olaf and Sven. That was it. And I thought Frozen was going to be about those two characters only. Nothing Disney princess like and like that. So when I finally got to watch it, it blew my mind and stuck to my heart to this day. And I don't know, I was just bewildered and amazed by Frozen. Of course, a lot of things helped along the way. Like, you know, the song Let It Go was an amazing song. and. I don't know, It Elsa was a very what impactful character for me, and I don't know, Frozen just hits my fancy in all the ways I never thought it would hit me. So I was so infatuated by Frozen that next year, in 2014, I just felt like the urge to like, you know, make something, you know, I want to be a part of Frozen and everything else that I've loved thus far, which is like video games and movies and like that. So I just got like a free Photoshop app on iPad and just started doing a lot of Photoshop, very crude ones, very basic, very amateur ones, you may say. But um, when I've done it between the song The Hedgehog World and The Frozen World, um, a few a few of my friends that I had in high school liked them. They were like, whoa, it almost looks like Shadow the Hedgehog really is a part of that poster with Elsa and all that stuff. And they really enjoyed it. And I kind of liked that feeling that someone enjoyed what I created. And that kind of made me think, what if I post this somewhere so that more people can enjoy it? And that's when I started thinking of Deviant Art. So after many days of considering it, I finally worked around to create a Deviant Art watch page and post my very first thing ever on the internet, which was this poster right here. Very crude. Very, very crude. And looks very cringy now that I look at it. But it was a first step to where I am now, honestly. And surprisingly, a lot of people enjoyed it. Of course, there were people that were saying this was very weird, very cringeworthy and all that stuff. But then again, this was part of my learning steps on how the internet was really like and how to be social about it. But that first step to ever do something sociable was all because of my sudden love for Frozen. And so that's why I'm saying thank you 
to all of you who created Frozen. Thank you all so much for creating it because this small step in doing something social, no matter how crude or cringy it was, it was my first step into doing something sociable, which is, like I said, a requirement to make it somewhere in this world today. And, well, I started creating more posters of crossovers between the Sonic world and Frozen, particularly between Elsa and Child the Hedgehog. And, you know, it's been going on for a while until, you know, 2015 rolled around and I wanted to do something a bit more. And that's when I started making this YouTube channel that you're all watching in today. And uh, there are many other reasons why I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but um, for privacy's sake, I will not tell them. But other reasons why was, you know, because of this frozen spark I always uh, claim you guys gave me. So, yeah. And look where I am now. I enable, I'm, I'm now able to talk to people uh, online, even though I still try to avoid an excessive amount of social activity. The fact that I'm able now to be social and talk to more friends and sound like I have talked to people a lot before, even though it's still anxiety ridden for me, I, um, I have the ability now to speak to people more fluently, more efficiently, and not be afraid that much anymore to, you know, be out there. You know what I mean? And that's a very important thing for people to be, you know, to have the ability to speak to others, to connect and make friends with and like that. Because I didn't have that when I was young. I, I only had a few friends who were willing to come up to me and make friends with me. But still, I had to rely on them to do any social activity. And even then, I was very, very antisocial because I was very afraid. So when I saw Frozen, kind of changed my life. I now had the ability to make the first step on my own. So, yeah. And look at where I am now. I have my own YouTube channel. I have fans who support me every way. And I, all, all of this wouldn't have been possible without that small, tiny spark that the world of Frozen has given me. I, without Frozen, I think I would have not created any of this and would have remained a very introverted person and never had more friends than I thought I would have, honestly. So, thank you so much, Frozen. Thank you so much, the creators of Frozen, for providing me the small spark that inevitably changed my life for the better. Thank you so much, Frozen. To all of you who enjoy my content, who support me and such, for helping me become more active to the outside world, you may say. So thank you all so much. And I have nothing else to say, honestly. I can't wait to see Frozen 2. I hope Frozen 2 will be just as amazing as we all hope for it to be. And yeah, thank you all so much for listening. I know it's a very small message, I know it's a very personal message, but it's a message I feel like I should be bringing out because I I feel like, I feel so, you know, alive again, despite what I am now. I, I feel so alive right now. And I now truly appreciate these moments where I feel really alive now. So, thank you all so much. I'll see you all next video.